Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Moving to Detroit to Survive and Stay Safe. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help get the word out. Now, let's get started. Is the cost of renting or purchasing a home in your area becoming absolutely prohibitive? Then we have a new opportunity for you. Is the crime rate in your area now off the charts crazy? Well, then once again, we have a new option for you. Have the police in your area stopped responding to 911 calls or been defunded by their lunatic politicians? Then we have another option for you. Have you or your neighbors been mugged or robbed or physically attacked lately? Guess what? This option can help you as well. So what is this new option? Well, believe it or not, home prices in Detroit are now some of the most affordable in the country now. You're not going to get a beautiful new home in Detroit for a super low price. But if you're living on the streets or freezing in some cardboard box, wherever you are, then this may be the option for you. You should consider buying or uh, renting a rundown home in Detroit and start fixing it up. Do the police in your town still refuse to respond to 911 calls and tell you to uh, file a complaint via email at their website? Well, guess what? In Detroit, the police actually respond to 911 calls. So that's an advantage. Are you being physically assaulted or attacked in your town on a regular basis? Have you or your friends been attacked uh, uh, while traveling through the city? Well, in Detroit, that's less of a problem. Why? Because the cops still arrest criminals in Detroit. And a large portion of the city's population now carries legally licensed handguns that allow people to protect themselves. What about jobs in your town? Are they getting really difficult to find because of all the restaurants and the retail locations closing? Well, the same thing is true in Detroit. Jobs are getting more and more difficult to find in Detroit. But if you're willing to work outside of the city uh, in, the, in a neighboring town, then you may be able to find a job. What are some of the unexpected benefits of living in Detroit? Well, you don't have as many people living on the sidewalk in Detroit as you do in other cities. So are there any problems that the city of Detroit does still have? Yes. The winters are brutal. The temperatures are extremely low and all the snow and ice on the streets makes it very difficult to drive. There are a lot of hookers walking around the city of Detroit these days, an awful lot. I know you're thinking, I'll just ignore them and they won't bother me, right? Well, that's not how it is anymore. In Detroit, the hookers are now so desperate that if you pull up to a stop sign or a red light, they'll run up to your door, try to open it, and if it opens, it's not locked, if it opens, they'll hop in your car and get ready for this. They will refuse to get out of your car unless you give them money. A lot of times you have to give them 20 or 30 bucks just to get out of the car because they'll just keep blackmailing you. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but this happens all the time. It happened to one guy in Detroit, but he was so broke that, that he told the hooker that he didn't have any money and he pulled out his pockets and emptied them and showed them to her. It still took her about 10 minutes to believe him, but eventually she did and she got out of the car with no money. Another problem is the endless potholes in the, uh, on the roads in Detroit. They will destroy your car. Uh, you know, there are potholes two, three feet deep. It is unbelievable. Now, the city and the state do a very poor job of repairing and, and building the roads, so this is a constant problem. Year after year, decade after decade, it just persists. I've seen potholes in Michigan that were two, three feet deep and, 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 and three feet across. And that's something you want to stay away from because it will destroy your car. So should people in a bad situation consider moving to Detroit? Well, you have to take that, uh, that option under very, very careful consideration. It's not something you should do lightly. You have to evaluate the options where you are now. You have to evaluate the options of where you're considering going in Detroit and then make your decision. If you're living in a cardboard box now and you're regularly being assaulted by criminals on the streets, then you may want to consider going to Detroit because some parts of Detroit are still very nice and it'll seem like living in Beverly Hills compared to wherever you're being abused now. Be careful, people, no matter what you do. Good luck 
Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.